Hi dear students, today we are going to learn from the lesson Puzzles in your surroundings. Now, there is an experiment that you have to conduct. You can conduct that activity by following the instruction given in your textbook or write with the help of your parents. Okay? Now, the next part of the lesson asks the question, why does it hail even in summer? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to solve a few questions that you have in your mind. First, what is hail? Huge stones or balls of ice falling from the sky. Okay? And it usually hails in summer season. And that is the most interesting and inquisitive part. Why does it hail in summer? Well, get ready to have all your questions answered today. Alright? And also, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to use a few words all right, for which you should know the meaning of. For example, I'm going to use the word temperature often. Have you seen a thermometer? Your mama uses this to check your temperature. All right, she puts it in your mouth or in the armpits to find out the temperature of your body. When you have high fever, what happens? The temperature shows 100, 104. Oh my, and your mama gets worried. Oh my God, my baby has 104 fever. Ah, oh, correct. And so what does she say? Temperature is high. Correct. I'm going to use this often, okay? And what about the temperature in your fridge? Well, the temperature in your fridge is very low, alright? So when it is hot, you feel so sweaty. That time, the temperature around you is hot. That is why you feel hot. And when in winter, the temperature around you is low, you also feel very cold and you will need to wear a sweater over you, correct? Remember, temperature low, cold. Temperature high, then hot. Now, let me explain to you what is hailing and why does it hail, alright? Now, in summer, suddenly it starts raining and when it starts raining, it doesn't just rain, alright? You will also see small, small cubes of ice falling from the sky. That is hail, alright? But what is the meaning? Why does it hail, alright? And where does it come? You know, it comes from the sky. But why does it fall during the summer, alright? And especially when the sun is shining brightly. I'll tell you how and why. Now you need to remember that all around you, there are small, small drops of water. Even though you cannot see them, but they are around you. So how about you reach out your hand and touch some droplets of water around you. Touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them. Yeah, they are all around you. And these small, small drops of water are called water vapor. Okay, I repeat, they are called as water vapor. They are around you no matter what. Especially in the rainy season, they are more in quantity. Alright, but in the summer season, they are less in quantity. Okay, so right now, it's the rainy season. So you'll have them all around you. Mm, touch them, touch them, touch them. Okay, now imagine this is your earth and where are you living? Right here in India. Okay, now you are staying here. Okay, so I'm going to place you here. Hmm. Okay, now you are sitting here and this is the earth. Alright, so now we are going to move away and far from the earth. Not just over here far from the earth, towards the sky, up, 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 all right? As we move further from the earth, the sky, towards the sky, it is pretty cold out there, all right? And those clouds that you see, what do they contain? They contain water, yeah. Now, what about your refrigerator? In your refrigerator, the freezer section, it's pretty cold out there, right? Freezing cold. And over there, what do you see? The water is just like that? No, the water is frozen into ice, correct? Same way as you go further, it's very hot here. Ah, but as you go more higher, 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 as you fly, 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 higher and higher, you will notice that the temperature over there is very cold. 
It's so cold, it's so freezing cold. And that is why the clouds are formed up there. All right. And what happens is, can you sit down here for a minute? And these particles, all right, these tiny particles in and around us, all right, they are pushed upwards because of the strong wind, all right. So when the wind flows, the tiny balls are pushed upwards and upwards and upwards. Just like when I do. You saw how the balls flew away? Yeah, just like that, because of the strong winds, the little water particles in the atmosphere, they are pushed upwards and upwards and upwards and they get collected in those clouds. And in the clouds, they turn into tiny bits of ice. Yeah, and these tiny bits of ice are again pushed higher because of more strong winds and these small bits, bits of ice, they get collect more and more and more particles of ice and these become finally like huge big balls of ice now you think they are going to stay there over there so easily no because they've become so heavy and because they've become so heavy they fall down these are no longer small particles of ice they are now Stones of ice, they are called as hailstones. And they fall down in form of a shower. They shower down. Now, remember, all these hailstones will be of different sizes. Alright? And so, the tinier ones, alright, when they are about to fall to the ground, they melt. Because I told you, the temperature around is hot. So when they are falling, by the time they fall from the sky to the ground, they melt. Okay, because finally they are ice balls. Okay, and that is why when they fall on the ground, it looks like it's raining. But actually they are all big and small balls of ice falling from the sky. But the big balls, though they melt, they are of a huge size. All right, and these stones don't think they are just like a fun shower of rain. All right, when there's a shower of tiny balls of ice and it just falls on us as raindrops, it is fun when the temperature is really hot and we find that shower very refreshing. But huge balls of ice fall on the ground they can be very very devastating yes devastating means they can be very dangerous all right it was a time long time ago our state maharashtra was hit by a series of hail storms in 2014 do you know what happened that time it was a very sorry state look Thousands of acres of standing crops were destroyed. It, it was a time where no one expected the rain to come. Crops were almost ready for harvesting, but all those crops were destroyed. Fruit crops were ruined. That is, because of the stones falling on the trees, all the fruits before they became ripe, before it was time to pluck them out, they all fell down to the ground. And think about the animals, the birds, they all were injured. Correct? Do you think 
these animals and birds will run for shelter. All right, though they stood under the trees, these hailstones fall from a great height. And when they fall from a great height, they fall with a great speed. Animals and the birds, they were all injured. And you know what? The farmers were very sad because they had gone through a great loss. Okay. And it was a great natural calamity. Well, a calamity is something that comes on us without us even aware of. You tell me what calamity is there right now upon us, upon the whole world? Well, it is the pandemic. The pandemic of Corona. Corona, which is also called as COVID-19, is something that is acting as a great calamity all over the world, even in India. Right? What do we do at such a time as this? Well, my dear students, there's nothing we can do. Take the proper precautions and pray. Because prayer changes things. Well, are you praying for India? Are you praying for the world? Well, my dear students, every day that you wake up is a gift because not all of them get to see a beautiful day. You have got an opportunity. So, when you wake up, close your eyes, pray, thank God for the beautiful day and do not forget to pray for those who are affected by this great calamity. May God bless all of you and don't forget to pray. Well, I've answered one of your very questions. That is, why does it hail even in summer? Alright, now, like that, you must be having so many questions regarding the things in your surroundings. Like, for example, Wow, so many flowers. Well, all of them have different colors. Correct? Did you see? All of them have varied colors. Now, you must be thinking, where do these flowers get their color from? Hmm? That's a great question, right? How come they are so colorful and every flower has a different color? Where do they get their color from? Really interesting a question, right? And another question, if I ever told you to draw a leaf, what would you do? You will draw a leaf. Okay. And if I told you to color the leaf, what color would you color? Green, right? So have you ever noticed why these leaves are always green in color? Have you ever had that question before? Well, that's another interesting question to be answered, right? Well, and... Why do I have to cry all the time whenever I have to cut onions? Whenever I cut onions, I get tears in my eyes. So, why does chopping an onion make you cry? It's a question. Interesting one, right? Don't think I'm going to answer it to you. Well, the answers for these questions have to be found out by you. Alright? Yes, you're going to find out the answers and you're going to write them down in your scrapbook. See that you stick a picture of the flower for the first question, a picture of a leaf for the next question and a picture of onions for the third question. Alright? So, so, happy finding and let's see how well you write the answers down in your scrapbook. Use all the creativity you have. Make it as creative as possible. Alright my dear kids, see you on Friday. Bye-bye.